Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 15 in Azure Data Breaks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about Widgets Utilities, which is part of Data Breaks Utilities Toolkit. In our past few videos, we have discussed about couple of utilities which are available inside the Data Breaks Utilities. For example, File System Utilities we have discussed about, and also in the recent videos we have discussed about Notebook Utilities as well. So this video is dedicated for the Widgets Utilities. I strongly encourage you to watch my previous videos then come to this video. All the videos in my Databricks playlist are in the sequence order. So I encourage you to start from the first video and then slowly proceed one by one so that you will make sense of it and you will get most out of the every video. Now let's jump into this video widgets utility. So what is this widgets utility? This is one of the utility which is available inside the Databricks utilities and this widgets utilities actually allow you to parameterize the notebook. What is the meaning of parameterization? Let's assume you have a notebook with set of code. Now you want to have some values inside the notebook to be dynamic. That means whenever I try to run the notebook, dynamically I want to pass values into some parameters or variables. So with that values, my notebook logic should execute. So that is called parameterization. So this widgets utilities actually help you to achieve them. So this video we are going to discuss that uh, what are the each command available inside this widgets utility uh, as with a small demo. And in the next video, I will actually make you sense like how these commands, whatever inside this visual utilities will make you act notebook as a parameterized that I will we will discuss in our next video. So this video, let's focus on this each and every command of the widget utilities and then let's try to understand them. So let's jump to uh, Databricks. Uh, I have already opened my Databricks workspace here in the Chrome browser. So here, let's try to create a new notebook. So create notebook. So I am going to create a new notebook, maybe like widgets notebook, okay. And then this notebook is default language is Python and uh, demo cluster is already one cluster created inside my Databricks workspace. So I am selecting as a default cluster. So let me hit this create button to create this notebook. So widgets notebook is created and now this notebook is attached with a demo cluster, right? So one second here, you can see here this notebook is attached with a demo cluster. So now in our past videos, we have seen that there is something called DB utilities. And then on top of this DB utilities, if you execute the help function, and then if you execute the cell by hitting the shift enter, it will give you all the utilities available inside it. There is one utility called widgets utilities also, right? So now if you want to know what are all the commands available inside this widgets utilities, the same thing as what we did in our previous videos under the DB utilities, then uh, if you want to see the intelligence after that, press control slash that will give you intelligence to you. So here if I search like widgets, see widgets utility is there, then dot, then control space and then here uh, I will search for like this help function. So this help function will give you all the commands available inside this widgets utility. And then to execute the cell, I, I pressed shift enter and the cell executed. And if you see, so these are all the commands available like combo box, drop down, get, get argument, multi select, remove, remove all text. So these are all the different types of commands available inside this widgets utilities. So let's practically see each and every uh, widget now. So first let's try to understand what is this combo box. If you see here, it is going to create a combo box actually. And then you can give a name for that combo box. And also you can give a label above the combo box. If you want to display some label, you can do that. And also some default value, you can set it to it. And what are the choice of values should available for that combo box. So if all this will make sense when I practically create one combo box. So to create that, as I said, so dbutils, under dbutils, dot, then control space will give you always intelligence. So I will search for widgets. So under widgets, utility, dot, then control space. See, there is a combo box uh, function, which takes four parameters, name, default value, choices, label. And this default name name is going to be string default value also string choices is going to be sequence that means list or two pool in the python you can pass then label is again string so let's use this combo box function and to the combo box function so firstly name parameter so i'm going to name uh, one uh, so we, so it, it is going to give you one one html control here actually a combo box will actually appear for you so for that combo box you should give one name so let's assume i'm giving fruits cb cb means combo box let's assume and then after name, maybe I want to set a default value. So there is a default value parameter also, right? To the default value parameter, you can see how I am able to see that. See, default value is the parameter which is available. So to the default value parameter, maybe I will supply value apple. Okay, A-P-P-L-E. Then choices. There is a parameter called choices, is choices, right? 
so for the choices parameter i need to supply the list so list of apple one is apple then second item maybe let's assume banana then third item maybe let's assume orange okay and then finally label let's assume i want to display one label there so i can use a label parameter to the label parameter i can say like fruits combo box okay so now if i execute this cell by hitting the shift enter it is going to give me combo box here see a combo box came and the default value came with a apple and you can see here fruits combo box this is label so since i given a label as fruits combo box that's why it came here and also if you see here let me remove this default value and you can see apple banana orange three options are available for me to automatically select for the combo box why they are those are coming because those are the choices available here not only that if you want to uh, type some new value also you can type it maybe uh, like uh, um, orange apple so kiwi let's assume so you can type uh, since it is a combo box it will allow you a new value also here so let me collapse this menu first here so that i can get some good space here okay now so this is this is how combo box appears so next there is another widget so under db utilities widgets dot then control space so there is another one called drop down even the drop down takes the same parameter see name parameter default value parameter choices parameter label parameter so let me take this drop down and let me copy these parameters and values as it is from here and then change for the interest of the time so let me copy from here control c and then let me paste all the parameters and value here into the drop down and here i want to name this like maybe fruits drop down dd okay then default value let's assume apple only and in the drop down i should get a values apple banana orange and then i want to label this one as fruits drop down maybe okay so now let me hit shift enter to execute this you will see a drop down here so let's wait for the execution to complete see execution completed and you can see a drop down came and the default value is apple in it so if i type some new uh, some some other uh, fruit name which is not available in the drop down then immediately it will remove that why because it is a drop down in the drop down you always select the values which are available in the choices which are available in this drop down only okay and there is another utility let's see uh, under db utilities under widgets utility there is another command called multi select if you see this multi select even for the multi select it is going to be same name default value choices and label so let me use this multi select uh, command to get that widget and let me copy this parameters and values as it is because the same parameters are there for the multi select as well i will change the values accordingly so i will name it like maybe fruits multi select ms okay then default value let it be apple and then apple banana orange are the choices and the label for that uh, multi select i am going to use like fruits multi select okay so now let me execute shift enter to execute this cell you will if you closely observe see i got a fruits multi select uh, and also i got this multi select uh, text box here you can see apple is automatically selected if i want to select multiple values i can select like this so i selected banana and also i selected orange also so all the three values i have selected okay then uh, let me use another control so under db utilities widgets so there is something called text also so if i press control space it will get me intelligence if you see so for the text function you have to or the for the text command you have to supply only three values name name of that particular control then default value and label to it so let me use this and to the name parameter maybe i will pass this is like uh, fruits text box tb okay maybe then default value i will be using maybe apple only okay any any fruit it can be you can there is there is no choices because text is going to give you text box actually and uh, let me use a label here uh, so I, I will call it like maybe fruits text box something like that okay so let me hit shift enter to execute this and if you closely observe see we got fruits text box as well and there is apple default value came if i want to change it to something i can change it so i can type it as a kiwi or anything i can do anything right so let me keep it apple only for, for our understanding then see what and all the commands we have discussed so far we have discussed about combo box we have discussed about drop down we have discussed about multi select and also we have discussed about text okay and there are couple of commands which are also available inside this uh, one is uh, this uh, get 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 command and get argument command so this will help you to get the value from the widget uh, it, be it maybe combo box be it maybe drop down be it maybe text or multi select if you want to get those values 
you have to use this get command or get argument command how to use it let me practically show you this let me go to uh, databricks workspace here and here under db utils dot widgets dot control space then if you type get c so for the get command there is one parameter which you have to pass name so what is the name so the control name for example i want to read the value from this uh, combo box whatever the value it is there inside this control so to do that for this control whatever the name we defined we have to use that name so if you see for the combo box what is the name we have given we have given name as fruits cb so i should use like this let me use this name here and let me pass that name inside this get function now if i execute it will give me the value see kiwi is the value it returned why because in this is the name of the control and inside that control whatever the value you have that will it will return so don't confuse whatever the label you have we should not use the label here we should use the name of the control how you will name how you will get the name of the control if you see that particular line of code there is a name parameter inside the name parameter whatever the value you passed you have to take that for example if you see uh, if i use the same like text box name drop down name it will give you only one value but there is multi select option right so here we have selected multiple values how these values are written let me see that so what is the so this is the name of the multi select field so let me copy this fruits ms and then let me use this inside this get function and then if i execute this here by hitting the shift enter button you see it it returned values like apple comma banana comma orange so all the values will come as a string by but separated by commas okay so that's how it will return all the multi see multi select is a control which will allow you to select the multiple values right so all the values will be written with a comma separated values so and one disadvantage of this uh, get function is for example if you misspell this control name for example fruits ms1 then what will happen if i try to execute this by hitting the shift enter then this is going to give you the error saying this particular widget is not defined there is no widget called fruits ms1 and that is true by any reason if you want to if you don't want to get that uh, error if the uh, if you misspell the control name then or if you misspell the widget name then you can use this get argument function to the get argument function the get function and the get argument function both does the same job they will try to get the value inside that particular widget only but the only difference is for this get argument function you can pass a default value also that means if the name of the control is not there if that widget is not there then it is going to return the default value let me practically show you this if i use the get argument and if i use the fruits ms first that means this with this name there is a widget available and if i execute it even this is going to give the same value it is going to return the value inside this widget see apple banana orange now if i misspell it then in that case if i supply a default value let's assume uh, i am going to supply default value as error uh, this widget is not available okay so i type a default default value or default error message so now if i enter shift enter to execute this cell now if you see we haven't got any error the cell executed completed successfully but it returned the output whatever the default value we have used so in by any chance if you think with the name whatever the widget name you use if that is not available still you want to return some default value in that case go with a get argument function okay and not only that uh, there are couple of other commands also like remove and remove all these commands will help you to remove these widgets for example i want to remove this multi select widget so what i can do uh, under db utils let me write the code here under db utils widgets command control space to get the intelligence so here if you see this remove function to the remove function i have to supply the name of the widget so let me take this remove function and let's assume i i don't want this fruits widget so fruits ms is the widget name right for this one if you closely observe fruits ms this is the name of this widget so this multi select if i execute this code then this multi select widget will disappear so let me execute it by hitting the shift enter so cell execution is in progress and once the cell execution completes you will see that this fruits multi select widget will go away why because we are removing it so let's wait for the execution to complete here great see cell executed now multi select is not there similarly maybe let's assume I, i want to remove this combo box so what is the name of this combo box uh, fruits cb right so let me copy the name of the combo box and then let me give this here so let me give this here and now let me execute shift enter to execute this cell 
So now this is going to remove the combo box. See combo box also disappeared. By any reason, if you want to remove all the widgets at a single shot, then you can use this dbutils dot widgets dot control space to get the intelligence. And there is a function called remove all, which don't take any parameter. That means if you use this function, then it is going to remove all the widgets automatically. So let me hit shift enter button to execute this cell. See command execution is completed. Uh, completed. Now you can see there is no widgets. Why? Because all the widgets are removed automatically so this is how this widgets utility inside the databricks utility is, is helpful to parameterize so indirectly what is happening uh, you may be thinking like what is the use of it right for example if i created this text box once again by hitting this cell so what you can do is in the real time you can use this text box as a parameter or you can use the drop down as a parameter or a multi select whatever the value we, we, you entered here you can read that value using this get or get function and then inside your other part of the execution or inside your other part of the logic inside the notebook you can use those values according to your need so in that way whenever you try to execute this notebook you can supply your own dynamic value into this particular text box utility or text box widget and then using this get or get argument function you are reading that dynamic value whatever you are supplying into the text box and then using it into the rest of the logic so that will i will practically show you also by taking some example in our next video so in this video you only focus like how we can create these widgets and whatever the what are all the different types of commands available i hope you got this video uh, and you got the understanding of the widgets utility as well thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much